me, Pretty Fugal Diva, and today we are doing a video where we're checking our budget for week number two in October, and we're doing a cash stuffing. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. for week number two week number two um it's a little complicated but we're gonna go over it just to make sure that i don't forget anything okay guys okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over all the bills for week number two just to make sure that i have everything and see where we are with our budget <clears throat> so we have of course loan number is this it? Yes. Okay, that's right. Loans number one, two, three. Um, then we have um the quad the pay buy now pay later's that we have to pay. Um, these are actually coming out the beginning of this week. Um, if y'all don't know, since I get paid three times this week, um at this month, um the schedule is a little bit off as far as how I pay my bills. So these are coming out before Wednesday. And once these three come out, then I'll have these due on my payday. And as you see, it was 777 11, 11. And what I'm going to do after that is I'll have this, these here. And then I'll just have um, my ties, of course, my, um, my alarm, my credit card. And then by that time, it'll be time for the next check-in, so I have to do that one. So, it's like these three, again, will be the three that I have to pay before the next check comes. Like, well, no, actually, this one, no, actually, I have to pay all of this as well as this here. So, I separated. I know these look like, hey, aren't, didn't you just pay these? These are ones that come out at a different time. So, I separated them just so I know how much money I need to have in my bank account. As the money comes out for these because I'm actually paying these off so I can get rid of them um, after I believe the first two weeks of November this won't be completely paid off I will be putting money back put actually purchasing some other things but it will be for my house um, renovation so yeah um, but other than that I'm in the process of paying all three of these off so I can have more free money to do my cash stuffing and get out of debt okay so I think that is it now, guys, <laughs> it's time for me to bring out this. This is where I keep my sinking funds, um, you know, how I break down my sinking funds. And so we're going to do a sinking funds. And my sinking funds this week is $25. I'm pretty proud of myself. I know that's not a lot of money. But I haven't done a sinking fund since I did the redo and moved all my money around. So this is actually what I have for this pay period and i'm pretty proud of myself and um yeah so let's get started on this let me go ahead and move this over here and let me bring out my favorite thing in the world ah! hold on i just lost everything jesus oops i just lost everything okay anyway my favorite thing in the world my little computer calculator isn't she the cutest i swear i love this calculator this this calculator is everything guys i love this calculator it's so cute okay so let's get started make sure i have the right dominations and we have 5 10 15 let's see it's 15 oops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's 10, which equals 25. Perfect. Okay, so let me get this out again so I can make sure that I have my breakdowns and everything is ready to go. So my breakdowns are here. And I'm going to put this off to the side so that I can see it. And we're going to go from there. And we're going to update the slips later. 
but I want to go ahead and get those in. Uh, do we going to do those now? I think we're going to do them now because I want to make sure that we have everything together. Okay. So emergencies, guys. Okay, let me explain what's going on with emergencies. I have finally, and I do mean finally, opened my Capital One account. Ah, snaps! Ah! I am so excited. I've opened my um, emergency fund with Capital One 360, and I have been putting money in it slowly but surely. So um, if you look in the corner, you will actually see my little um, available amount. It's in the process of grabbing the money. So if you look at the little amount above, it shows you that I actually have $6.90 on top of what's in here. So I've already put money in my emergency savings. I will be taking um, this money and putting it into my bank account to put into my savings as well. So I will have $11.90. This is still gonna be here, but um, once I get to 100, it'll just have a, a $100 uh, fake bill here to represent the money that's in there. But I do have a total of $11.90 in there, and I will keep adding as I can, even when I'm not on camera, but you will see the, the difference, okay? Okay, now for escrow, we're going to add a dollar into escrow. Um, I have gotten my... Um, I haven't gotten my taxes for the city yet. I have gotten it for, um, I have gotten it for the county, but I haven't gotten it for the city. And of course, my um, house went up in pay, which I'm not going to be mad at for real. So here's my regular savings account, and we're going to add five dollars to this. Okay, so with five dollars, we're going to have five, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, look at us with $19. Yes, I am here for that. That's awesome. Let me put that, actually, let me do that. So that's going to be five. So what's today? The nine. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be a total of, we're going to add in, it would have been 20, but I actually got a drink the other day. I needed one for at work, but that is over with, guys, and I'll tell y'all about that shortly. So, deposit $5. So, we're at $19. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. More it says rent, but it's actually mortgage. We're gonna do five dollars towards mortgage. And for those of y'all that don't know, mortgage is actually me trying to get my mortgage paid one month in advance. Okay, so we got five, and now we're going to have five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yay, that is awesome, guys. So $15. So that's going to be 10. Deposit. Five dollars, and that's going to be fifteen dollars. Okay, that is great. My goal is to get a full month's rent, which is over nine hundred dollars. We're going to do it slowly. I'm not in a rush. I just want to get to it eventually. With probably within the next six months, I want to have this to where it's a month in advance, so I pay it, and then I start putting money in to pay it the next month. But yeah. Um, for debt, debt, we are doing $5. Um, and what debt is, is debt goes to a, <clears throat> debt goes to, um, a bill that I'm going to put extra payments on. So it's going to be, um, $5 so far. Um, I will be adding more to this at the um, when I get my bonus check, I believe, because I'm actually doing a lot of work over the next week. So I am excited about that. Let's see, dental. Do I have anything for dental? Yes, I have a dollar, so yay. Let's see, dental is going to be... Hmm, 
Okay. It's going to be a dollar. So that's going to be. Okay. So this is one, two, three, four. And this is going to be five. So yeah. Ooh. So that's going to be four. And now it's five. Okay. I had something messed up there. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. So dental now has five dollars in it. Um, I have a lot of work to go on my dental, so this will be getting buffed up. Um, I'm actually um, getting ready to save for my next vacation. Um, I am wanting to go somewhere for like a little staycation, so maybe slightly out of town for my birthday get like a little spa treatment or something. So I want to say for that, um, my birthday's in February, if you didn't know. So we're going to do 10-9 deposit, which is $1. Is that vacation? Yep, $1. So we got $1. So we're going to get $1. Okay. And so we have vacation. Okay. Okay, for, we're not doing anything for gifts. For Christmas, we're doing a dollar just to get it started because I should have started this a long time ago. But honestly, I just, as y'all know, I have been struggling trying to keep this going. So as far as trying to figure out how I'm going to, you know, do everything. So since I've been struggling, I was like, okay, I've got to get serious about this. Christmas is coming. I have a 21-year-old that needs clothes and shoes and gift cards and all that good stuff so oh i didn't put the money in <laughs> so anyway that's a dollar okay so that's that vision we're not doing because um i have delayed my dental work until the new year for obvious reasons i just i would rather just get all of my mouth work done at the same time i just decided like it just wasn't worth it so I'm actually going to use that money that's in my FHA to get my new glasses. So I'm going to be making an appointment really soon to get glasses. And they're going to be the exact glasses I want, not the glasses I can afford for once. So, yeah, that's a little update on that. And, of course, we have, last but definitely not least, the fund. Hold on, I'm missing money. Did I forget to put money in somewhere? I got escrow. I know I put money in savings. Did I put money in my mortgage? Cause I'm missing, I'm missing money. Wait, I've got more money than I should have. That's all bad, dude. Hold on, no, that's in there. The five is in there. The dental is one. Christmas vacation is one. And then, wait, hold on. I have more money. Oh, wait, what did I do wrong? Guys, what did I do wrong? Oh, I don't know. Wait, I'm so confused. So emergency is not getting anything because it's in this escrow is a dollar. That's right. Savings is five, and I know that's right. Hold on, let me check these off. I don't know. Oh gosh, guys, I have no idea what I did. So that's right, that's right, and that's right. My debt is five dollars, so that's correct. My dental, I put in a dollar. Yeah, I put in a dollar, so it went from two, three, four, and then it became five. Yeah, so, huh, that is weird. Okay, so then I had vacation, which was a dollar. Oh, let me see, 15... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh. Ain't this nothing. I didn't do, I didn't, I didn't pay out 15. I didn't add up to 15, I don't think. Let me look at this again. This is crazy. You know what? I have four extra dollars. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to stress about it. Four dollars is always good. So one, two, three, four. So let's see. I did vacation. 
and I put it in this, make sure I put it in the slip, the slip on the slip. Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. Then I did gifts. I skipped that. I'm not doing gifts. Christmas, I did. Okay, vision, I told y'all I was skipping and I told y'all why. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. So that's perfect, actually. So we can do something extra. That's always good. So fund, if y'all don't know what fund is, fund is for my divorce fund. And because I have extra money, it's all going to a divorce fund. Yes, I need to pay off my debt, but I need to get this done. And um, he is now willing to give me his address. I actually talked to him for once and we had a, a decent conversation. It didn't turn to arguing, it didn't turn to screaming because I am over it. And now I'm just like, you know what? I'm just ready to end this marriage. So we're going to put in one, two, three, four, five, six dollars into divorce fund. And I'm here for it. So let me put that down. So today is 9, 10, 10, 9, excuse me. And we're going to put in $6. And now we're at, let's see, take that out. We're at 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Guys, that is approximately, like, we're getting close to, like, I think we're at, like, 5% of what I need. So, we're going to keep building this because I'm definitely putting some more money into this now that I have an address and I can actually make this divorce a little cheaper on my end. He doesn't want to pay for it because he's just, he is who he is. But, yeah, so that is where we are. Guys, yay. I did that. Um, thank you for sitting with me through that whole little issue where I didn't know where my money was. But hey, we got it done. It's now stuffed. My folder is looking a little thicker. That's always good. Um, and thanks again, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.